I want to speak the name Jesus. My name is Temple Chooks. A blessed day, everyone. I speak Jesus about my life. I speak Jesus. I speak Jesus. He is always shining through the shadows of my life. During the darkest moment of my life, I called upon Jesus. Ever since I've been introduced to this great name, Jesus, by my parents, the name has really delivered me from so many problems. I've been through dark times, I've experienced a lot. While I growing up as a child, I have this problem, these health challenges, whereby I cannot see properly. When I come in Bahrain, my darkest moment, I have a bad experience. My previous sponsor was not giving a good salary. They are giving me salary like an installment, 80 dinner on 2005. Opportunity comes to my life when I came here in Bahrain, 2015. Driven by dreams and hopes, I get the chance to help my family in terms of finances. Though I could provide their needs, it wasn't easy to work abroad and live alone. When I was in other faith, I only believe in myself. I can do whatever I want without any hesitation because I believe and I know that is the reality of life. Back in 2015, I experienced the worst and darkest ordeal in my life. After my struggle of finding a job in Philippines to sustain my family, an opportunity opened when my previous employer promised me that there is a job waiting for me in Kuwait. Without hesitation, I risked coming to Kuwait with only hope in my hand that this will be a turning point in my life for the better. But I was so wrong. I never knew what was coming to me. My employer applied me for a housemaid visa, but I will be working under a company which is illegal. But because of desperation, I have no second thoughts in agreeing with it. My eyes were so red, gone to several places, been to several places, but no solution. I was suffering that time. So many friends I had they helping me because they know my salary was not enough for me. I experienced a lot of struggles and hardships. Yes, brothers and sisters, I have and I did a lot of sins in my life. Like what? Drinking, smoking, and also I went to a wrong relationship. Name it. I really don't care that time. As if I know to myself that this is the true happiness in a worldly life, but I was wrong. I was wrong because last September 2015, I was diagnosed a colorectal cancer stage 2. When the doctor said I have a cancer, I was so devastated. I don't know what to do. I cried and cried and cried. I don't know what I'm saying. I just want to be alone. Because of the risk I've taken, the darkness started to surround my experience in Kuwait. I live in constant fear. I felt like a fugitive always on the run and hiding. There was even times in which I had to hide at the back of the coaster or if I'm riding a regular car, they have to put a black blanket just to cover me. Physical and emotional, the stress and fear all combined is the manifestation of darkness of that cover. One day when I'm at work, I receive a call from my brother that our mother suddenly passed away due to heart attack. My whole world came crashing down in front of me. I want to see her, hug her, but I cannot do anything. I was crying and crying all day. I couldn't stop the tears coming out from my eyes. That's the lowest point in my life. My best friend, my best listener, my best comforter, now she's gone. Hair loss makes it harder to breathe. I feel empty, miserable, heartbroken, and asking God why. Why did you take my mother away? Why? Why her? Shark and disbelief left me off guard. After one year, I came back to Kuwait from a vacation and four months after, we are given notice that the site will be evacuated and all contracts have been terminated. I got sent back to Philippines but because I was having a two-way ticket, I risked again going back to Kuwait, this time with no assurance or what it is in for me. I landed on a job from the same site but different employer and my life was a hell. I quit my job and stayed in the city waiting for my passport to be released but the one that is holding my passport would not release it until until I pay him 1,500 Kuwaiti dinars. I plead and beg to him to release my passport, but instead of mercy, I got threat of being run away. I have no one to run to, but all I can do at the time was to pray and beg for help from Jesus, just to take me home to Philippines. Lo and behold, some people financed me and was able to pay the amount and my passport was released. I swore I never go back abroad again, but God really works in mysterious ways. But Ever since the name Jesus was introduced to me, the infirmity, the sicknesses, everything disappeared. Now I can see clearly without using the goggle. The name Jesus has really helped me. Way back in my country in Nigeria, coming 
down to Bahrain. Ever since I've been speaking the name Jesus, has really worked for me. The name Jesus has given me the power to climb over every mountain, over every obstacle. There's no other name than the name Jesus. I was very amazed one day when I was uh, almost finished my contract that God hear my cry. My sponsor before is the one looking for the job for me to transfer me. Thanks to God, from 2007 on this year, 2022, this company, until now I was working. So I was blessed. One of my friends invites me to attend GCM Church. That's the first time I feel God moving to my heart. His presence embraced me, which I did not experience or encounter in another church. My life has been totally changed and I've come to know Jesus deeply. I have work, supporting family, and a loving God. My heart is full of joy. What more can I say? I talked to one of our brethren. She invited me in GCM Church. I went there, worship service, Bible studies, and all uh, other uh, activities. And uh, I attended. Then until, I want always to attend, attend and attend, and truly faith come it by hearing and hearing the Word of God. Wala pong makakapagpabago sa ating buhay. Wala pong makakapaglinis sa ating mga kasalanan, kundi ang Panginoon lamang, no other than Jesus Christ alone. A window of opportunity open in the Kingdom of Bahrain. I pray to the Lord, if He allows me to stay in Bahrain, I will serve Him. The Lord brought me here. He brought me out of the darkness of my past. He restored everything in me. A stable job, fix my relationship with my family, and most of all, is now letting me shine by using me in the ministry of the church. He even gave me a bonus. I met my, he told me to say it, handsome and cute husband. This is what I will leave to you, brothers and sisters. Obedience is better than sacrifice. But God is still good. He comforted me in the midst of grief and to trust Him completely. Little by little, the pain in my heart, the grief replaced with peace. Truly, God did not leave me nor forsake me. He did not abandon me and show me that relying on Him can help me get through it. The pain of grief is real, but so is the peace of God. Isaiah chapter 55 verses 8 to 9 For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. I want to challenge you. I don't know what you are going through. I don't know what you've been through. But speak the name Jesus. As you speak that name Jesus, every mountain, every valley, I don't want to know. Those things, He will give you the strength to move on. The mountain has not gone out, but he has given me the strength to overcome those mountains. I implore you to speak the name Jesus. The name Jesus has helped me coming out from dark shadows. The name Jesus, ever since our pastor has been preaching Jesus, the month of November, he has been speaking about Jesus. And I've been able to experience what this name Jesus has really done. Coming here down to Bahrain, the visa expired, no extension, but since I stepped my foot into this church and Jesus has been the topic, my brother, my brethren, I can tell you, I can see changes in my life. When I speak Jesus, I shine through my shadows. I speak Jesus in my life, to God be all the glory. And His light shines through in the darkest times of my life, to God be all the glory. Surely, one can shine through the shadows if you speak Jesus. To God be all the glory. There is no other name than the name Jesus. Speak Jesus and you see things happening in your life. God bless you.